Hi everybody and welcome to Lower League Football News. I'm Steve and I just want to say thank you to everyone that's watched the video so far. Make sure that you're hitting like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any news that's coming out of the proper football leagues. That's League 1 and League 2. Proper football for proper fans. Now I'm bringing you news today that Plymouth Argyle, the biggest club in the South uh, the South West, couldn't figure out the point to the compass then, the biggest club in the South West have managed to buy some land um, close by to build a new training complex. Now this comes off the back of a £4 million investment by a US-based consortium. Now people inside the club are saying that they need to develop their infrastructure further and this will enable them to do so. Now, Plymouth's long-term vision is to become a lot is to become a completely self-sustainable and viable championship club. Now they missed out on the playoffs on the last the playoffs for League One on the last day of the season, and they will be keen to get promoted this year. But I'll be completely honest, it's going to be a really difficult job for Plymouth to get promoted, especially when they're competing with big clubs like Derby County, Sheffield Wednesday, Bolton Wanderers, um, and many more. There's quite a lot of big clubs in League One this year. And, well, you could say that they are at least... Um, putting a foot in the right direction by building the new training ground. Like I said, it comes off the back of a £4 million investment from a US-based consortium. Um, so, what are your thoughts on that? Will Are Plymouth big enough to become a solid championship club? They're the biggest club in the area, but is it is it an area that's synonymous for the love of football? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure quite what the population is in the southwest, but at least they're giving it a go. They've got quite a captive audience. You've been watching me, Stephen. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to get all your news on Leagues 1 and 2 from Lower League Football News. Thanks for watching.